Fani is interesting. He's he's this very very interesting character. Um, you know, he lives in a world in which uh, he almost feels uh, like an outsider. Um, you know, there's a part of him who feels very very strange, and you know, the only thing he really knows and he's really sure of is his love for Tish, um, and I think that that shines. You know so bright not only in in the book it's so clear in the book um you know through through baldwin's writing but um also just in this film and the relationship that you know i've been able to create with kiki who plays tish um you know just that his biggest light in this world is his love for tish funny's a deep deep character um you know i knew i had my work cut out for me um you know coming into this film but luckily, Baldwin, uh, you know, the way he's written this character, uh, the way he's colored um, all the characters in this, in this book and in this film, um, you know, it was easy for me to, to sort of dig in. Um, you know, for me, one of my biggest uh, sources of, of research was, uh, was Romeo and Juliet. You know, I always saw this as, as a love story. And, um, you know, in my research and in preparing for this role, um, you know, I went back and read Romeo and Juliet. It's so much deeper than just, you know, one person loving another person. I think that um, Tish is Fani's best friend. She always has been, um, you know, his entire life since they were babies. And, you know, even before there was a sexual attraction or, um, any attraction really they were just best friends you know um obviously they grew up together Fani spent more time with tish's family than he did his own family um you know so they grew up a bond that was so unbreakable um and so undeniable um you know such a real real love and you know baldwin paints that picture so clearly in in, in this book so you know it was easy for me to know just how much uh, Tish and her family meant to, to Fani and, and to be able to translate that into, you know, into the performance. Um, you know, it's deeper than, than puppy love. These guys are our, our best friends and, and soulmates. To be able to be entrusted with a story like If Beale Street Could Talk um, is such a humbling, humbling thing. Um, you know, to be entrusted with um, Baldwin's work, you know, um, to be able to tell a story like this uh, with Barry Jenkins and, and with the cast and crew that we're doing it with is really something I have not uh, taken for granted any day I've been on this set. Um, you know, Baldwin's an absolutely just, um, you know, he's iconic. He really is iconic. And, you know, when I think of, when I think of Baldwin, I think of like, Shakespeare, he has his own like language in a way um, that's really, really interesting and, and it's vivid and it's honest and it's, it's brutally honest. <laughs> and uh, you know, that's so helpful for us as, as artists to, you know, to interpret characters when you have that level of honesty, that level of, of realness, um, you know, that Baldwin so graciously gives to this to this book, so it's a, it's a huge honor, and, and like I said, Shakespearean in, in a way, where you have this love, you know, this tragic love story um, that still seems to have a glimmer of, of light and hope, um, you know, which I feel like people will really, really uh, connect with and appreciate. So, you know, it's been my, it's been one of the biggest honors for me to be able to be entrusted with the role of, of Fani um, and to sort of help bring him and the story to life. Love never, that never gets old, you know. Um, this is something that, I, I don't care who you are, you can be, you know, you can be 16, you can be 45, you can be 95. Um, you know, at one point in your life, you're gonna know what it's like to be in love um, in some form, you know, some capacity. Um, and I think that, you know, Fani and Tish, they're the purest form of, of love, um, you know, that I could, that I could think of, um, which is why I keep comparing them to, to Romeo and Juliet. Um, you know, they have a very, very unfortunate circumstance, but it just really shows, um, 
you know, how much that love is is able to, you know, how much love is, is able to really transcend all, all the all the pain, um, you know, all the hurt of this unfortunate situation, and still be able to survive at the end of all of this. Um, you know, it's really telling the relationship that they had that they were able to to see all of this through um, in a way which is really really just remarkable. So I think anyone can, you know, anyone who's ever been in, in love um, can certainly relate to this to this story in that way and see really the, the result of the power of, of true love. Kiki has just been remarkable, truly, truly remarkable. Um, this is her first feature film, and I'm literally in awe of her every day. What an incredible, incredible honor. You know, I've always been a fan of Barry Jenkins, um, from, you know, medicine to, to Moonlight. Um, you know, something, and it's gonna, sound, it's gonna sound strange, but some things you just know that you're supposed to do. Um, and I told myself after watching uh, Moonlight that I'm gonna work with Barry Jenkins. And I'm not, I'm not joking about this. I literally said it to myself. It's like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it. And when I met him for the first time, um, you know, I told him, I was like, we're gonna work together, whether it's this or something else, we're gonna do it because I just feel it in my spirit. Um, you know, what can I say about him? He's, he's a genius.